It's a bit of a fun test this morning based on the weather we've had this winter being exceptionally cold. We have two glasses here. We're going to do a bit of test on ball temperature. So we have one glass with ice in and one glass with sort of hot water in. So from a temperature point of view, we've got a thermometer here. So as you can see from this, this will get down to you can 33, 30, basically 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So zero degrees Celsius. And then this one, we switch it over, you're up 106, 107, 108, so basically 40 degrees Celsius. So we're going from Britain recently to Las Vegas in the summer. So both temperatures we're going to see on the golf course. We thought, well, what difference just from a ball point of view does it make? So we're going to hit a couple of drivers with each, uh, test them out, and see what happens. So I'll start off with, start off with the hot ball. Uh, excuse me whilst I uh, pour out the water. So convention has always been that a hot golf ball performs better and goes further. That's what people would say, you know, put the ball under your armpit in winter to warm it up. Well, let's, let's have a test. So obviously go with driver, which is going to make the biggest difference. And let's see just how much, if I can get the club speed similar, similar strike, what difference does it make? Came out of it a little bit. Okay, well, no, wait. So, see if I can maintain club speed there and square that off. We'll do two or three with each just to get a good base. There's a better hit, a little bit lower, but a better hit. Okay. Let's do one more there. So, really, give me a look as long as I can maintain that 108 club speed where the ball speed gets to. So pretty solid. Okay. So that's the hot ball. So that'd be pretty good. Yeah, 161. So let's change the tab uh, down to. We'll put frozen in there. Let's see. Let's see what difference the uh, the ice golf ball makes. Apart from being very uncomfortable to handle. I say convention would expect us to see a reduction in ball speed with this. Um, but let's see if that's true or not. A little higher on the face, I think, as a start, but let's see. Give it say give it two or three. a better hit. Yeah. So we'll do one more, but that was certainly a pretty solid hit. Right, so as you can see from the, uh, the wet ball markings, quite nice strikes those last couple, if I get the angle right. So Let's take a little look at the summaries on both of these. What I am also going to put in is that strike point. So you can see with the frozen ball and the warm ball strike point is pretty good with both. So average ball speed with the frozen ball, 108 club speed, 156.5. With the hot ball, 160. So we are picking up a little bit of ball speed with the hot golf ball. Uh, and that's with the standard Pro V1s. So um, interestingly enough, there does certainly appear to be, if I'll put the summaries on screen so uh, we can sort of see those at the same time as well. But, you know, from a, you know, interesting enough, there is, you, we have seen some tests before, it's actually come out the other way around, but certainly with that, you know, club speed's basically the same, strike point, you see is very, very similar. There is, you know, another three, three and a half miles an hour ball speed at quite an extreme, to be fair. So 40, 40 degree or difference in Celsius. Um, but looking at a five yard carry difference uh, with the warmer golf ball, you know, three and a half mile an hour ball speed um, gain. So um, if, you, if you can get your golf ball at frozen temperatures to 40 degrees centigrade in your armpit, 
then you can gain three miles an hour ball speed. Who knew? The old, the old wives' tale was correct.